I'm Caitlin Hoberlein. I am a 3L at Harvard Law School. I've always been interested in the judiciary. It's one of the reasons I actually decided to go to Harvard because I thought it would give me the best opportunity to get a clerkship or to work in the judiciary someday. I interned at the Securities and Exchange Commission last fall and I was here a lot for trials and hearings and I decided that I wanted to be behind the bench a little bit more than uh, in the back of the courtroom so I decided to apply. Since I became a judge 15 years ago, uh, right from the beginning, I've always had interns. They're an extension of my law clerks, but I like to teach. I like to work with young people. It's one of the benefits of the job is I have a continuing changing cast of young people uh, who are starting out in their careers, who are curious about things, and who are very bright and very helpful. So while I'm at the courthouse, every day I write bench memos for the judge. That's summaries of what he'll hear the next day. I attend hearings and trials if they're going on. I get to learn firsthand what works, what doesn't work, and then I will also hear sometimes the judge's opinion about what was effective to him and what wasn't. So on a very practical level, I'm learning how to act in a courtroom and what's effective. And on the other hand, drafting opinions and getting the judge's feedback has been incredibly helpful and important to my own writing. The most important thing, I think, is to, to learn something, to see it from the inside, to see what happens in the court. Uh, how are the lawyers presenting their arguments? How are they presenting their arguments in writing? How do I react to that? What are my comments to it? What is the decision-making process that goes into all of that? The most interesting assignment I've worked on so far would probably be a habeas petition. I had to research a lot of substantive law and a lot of both Massachusetts law and U.S. federal law. So I presented the judge with my thoughts on where the case should go and what the um, how the opinion should read. He told me to write it up the way that I saw fit and then I was able to see the edits afterwards so I could learn from what he changed. It's very useful, very important. I wish I'd had an opportunity to, to get into something like this, uh, into a judicial internship and see it from the inside because otherwise you're, you're learning it from the outside and it's just harder to do. I would just encourage any students thinking about clinicals to do them and to think outside the box. I've done two independent clinicals at HLS and they've both been incredible experiences and I would encourage everyone to figure out where they want to be and make it happen. It's, it's very possible to create your own opportunities here.